what's up everyone i'm sorry for this crazy camera work my uh phone selfie camera got absolutely destroyed at a bank when i uh dropped it in the parking lot the front of my phone is just completely demolished but i just went to a credit union i'm outside right now and i got a half dollar bag i'm seeing a lot of silver in there i'm seeing some other interesting odds and ends and um so this credit union has a jar for foreigns and like any other miscellaneous coin that gets, uh, you know, filtered out from the coin machine. So I got some good finds in the, um, in that foreign jar as well. So I'll show you guys those. Then I'll show you the outside of the bag, see what I'm looking at. And then we will get to the half dollar hunt. It should be a fun one. So this is probably my favorite find out of the bunch in that foreign jar. We've got a 1943 steel wheat penny. These are super hard to come by in circulation. Um, I've never found one hunting pennies in rolls or bags. And I've actually at the same place have um, found other steel wheat pennies in the reject jar. So really happy to have another one. I'm probably gonna put that in a flip just to keep it separate from everything. These are awesome. Not super valuable, but they're just very tough to find. Um, this I thought was cool. We have a 1973 commemorative Canadian quarter. There were a lot of Canadian commemoratives in there, but I did not want to take them all just because, I don't know, I told the tellers I'd put a half dollar in the jar just because they, their plan was to convert all of the currency in that jar to U.S. currency and then donate it to charity. So I didn't want to be that guy and just steal all the charity money. So I, I, I threw a half dollar in there. But uh, this was cool. I've never seen one of these from 1973. Uh, any Canadian viewers out there, if this is anything good, let me know. Uh, if there's any other commemoratives I should be looking for, I would really appreciate any info on those. Um, still don't know a ton about the modern Canadian stuff. I know a bit about the older stuff, but that I thought was kind of neat. Uh, we actually have a penny glued to a 1946 nickel. I figured I'd keep that. Always try to keep my 40s nickels. Uh, we ended, ended yeah, can't talk right now. We actually ended up with a King George nickel. I think from the same year as the one of my last hunt or one of my last hunts. I found one of these recently, 1941 kg. It's got a scratch on the obverse, but these are awesome to find. I think this is only like the third one I've ever found in circulation. Um, we've got a couple young heads as well. And that's going to be it for the finds. This one's a 58. We've also got a 1955. I love the um, octagon, I believe that is, shape of these. It's pretty unique. I, you don't see many other coins like this. And I think they were only this shape when the young head portrait was on them. Because the King George ones don't have that shape unless they made it that shape in the early 50s. I'm not sure, I'll have to look at my other old Canadian coins and see if I can figure that out. But it's a cool assortment of uh, finds, even before I start on the half dollar bag. So next I'll show you guys the bag. I'll probably go home first, just cause it's not very convenient to do it in the car, but I'll show you guys the bag. Um, there's a bit of silver in there. So what happened is, I came to this credit union pretty much looking to just get a quarter bag, but I figured I'd ask them about the half dollar bag because every time I've asked them about it recently, they've said it's been, um, you know, somebody claimed it. Um, so I asked them right off the bat, I'm like, hey, do you, have, has anyone claimed your, uh, or is, is anyone still claiming your half dollar bag? And they're like, oh, we don't know what you're talking about. So I'm like, oh, sweet. So I had one of the tellers check the balance. It was at 499. Usually I like to take like 600 to 800 all the way like up to a full bag before I can fill it because usually they, they charge you to fill a bag. Um, but anyway, I, I'm like, am, am I able to look at this bag like before I buy it just to see if there's anything I'm interested in? I wanted to check it for silver before I pay the dump fee. So she said, that's no problem. Um, I started looking at the bag. I probably saw like 10 or 15 silvers just on the outside. So... It's gonna be a really good bag, I think. I uh, I had to fill it up. I actually didn't have enough half dollars on me, so I had to run down the road to a bunch of other banks to get all the halves I needed. I needed like 60 more bucks. But I came back, filled it up. We have the bag now. 
and this is probably going to be one of my better half dollar hunts in quite a while um the last few bags i've done have been mediocre at best so i'm expecting a lot of silver i will show you guys what i'm seeing on the outside when we get back to my house I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I'm looking at in this half dollar bag. So we've actually got a dollar profit right here, literally a dollar bill. I uh, got silver right there, two silvers right there. We've got three or four down here. There's just a lot of silver at the bottom of this bag that I did not fill. I filled half of it, but the other half, there's another silver up there. There's just a bunch of silver and there's pieces of dollars i don't know if that's the same dollar as was up there but let's flip the bag and see if we can see anything on the other side oh yeah 68d we've got a silver right there um i have a feeling there's quite a few of them packed in this part of the bag like pretty deep in here there's no way to find out until we start looking, but I'm gonna crack the bag open and we'll get to it. I'll show you guys the first find. We've got an interesting rim right here, right off the bat. I don't know if that's a token or a really old coin. It could be a foreign, and I do see a hint of a silverish color right there. If this is silver, it's super old. Let's see what we have. Oh my God, it's a walker. I've never found a walking liberty. I was just talking to my friend, uh, Diggin' Dave. If you guys aren't subbed to him, check out his channel. But I told him, I'm like, man, I really need a walker. And there we go. It's absolutely trash, but it's got to be old. Let's see if we can get a date. I think if there's a mint mark, we're not even going to be able to see it. But let's see. 1917. Oh, my God. Wow, I was not expecting to find one of these. I thought if I found my first walker, it might be like a 45 or one of the newer ones. That's incredible. It's beat to heck. It's not worth much more than a silver melt value, but God, I'm so happy about that. I have been coin roll hunting a year and a half. I've never found a walker and it's probably my favorite coin design. I have found one um, metal detecting before, but never this way. But there we go, guys. Walking Liberty. Now this makes me wonder if there are more 90s in here. I wonder if we can get another one. Unbelievable. So clearly these aren't going to be as old as the first silver I found, but we do have, I believe, two silver half dollars right here. Let's take a look at this one first. 1969D silver number two and this one is going to be a 68d cool three silvers that is already half of what i found in my last half dollar hunt and we just pulled the first handful out so let's continue on in here i do actually see silver down there i don't know actually there's a couple of them <clears throat> we've got this one here 68d and i did see one more right here let's take a look at that 68d bunch of 68ds hopefully we can come away with another 90 percenter but we are currently at five silvers pretty close to what i had in that last bag so i'm excited to keep going so i just pulled another silver out and we do have quite a few in sight right here so let's take a look at this and see what we have 1967 that one's got some cool toning on it too we got some yellowish bluish toning that's pretty sweet that is silver number six we're currently tied with the last bag i hunted we got one right here 1967 awesome um and there's a couple more i could see i do see a little token or something right here good for one well good for one well drink or bottle I'm going to block this out. Some kind of tiki bar. I just don't want to give away the location of where I am. I don't know if it says it. I'll have to look at it after. I'll show you guys the full thing if it doesn't have any address or anything. But that's kind of cool. I'll have to find this tiki bar and get myself a drink. But let's keep looking here. We do have more silver in view. 68D. 
one is going to be 67. Um, and I see at least one more right here. 68D. I don't think I'm seeing any more silver in this pile. I'll have to uh, sort through it and double check. There very well could be some a little bit deeper in here. But there does look to be some interesting stuff in there. I do see some silver rims deep back in there. I see a key or something right there. So we're going to have a fun bag here. Same pile. I've unearthed a couple more silvers. Let's take a look at them. 67. Look at our pile. We are getting quite a bit here. And this one is going to be a 68D. Seems like most of these are 68D or 67. So I'm going to keep at it, and I'll bring you guys back for any more silver or anything else cool. You know, I may have underestimated this bag. I thought I would get 15, 20 silvers maybe, maybe 25, 30, but I might even get more than that. We're going to have three right here, 68D, 67, and another 67, and I do see one a little bit further in, 68D. I don't have a count on silver, but I'm sure we are nearing 20 at this point. So I'm going to keep sorting through these. I'll just take my time, make sure I'm looking at everything. And hopefully we see that silver count double or triple. I'm hoping to get, you know, anything over 30 would be amazing. So we'll see what we can do. Another silver right here. This looks like a 40% or 1968D. I believe we are getting close to 20 silver, so... Let's keep going. Hopefully we can push past 30 here. To show it, but we have a old master lock key here. This looks to be probably like 40s to 60s sometime in there, but that's that's kind of a cool find. It's not a coin, but anything shows up in these bags. So I did spot another key in the bag. So we've got two of them now. I don't know what this one's for. It doesn't really look like a car key or anything, but we are gonna have quite a bit of silver just sitting on the outside of the bag here. This one's a 69D. And I think there's going to be more. We got a 68D right here. Let's see a couple more right here. 1967. And this one is going to be a 67. I think I see another one right here. 65. Almost got a 90 right there. We were one year off. That's all I'm seeing right here for the time being. I'm going to sort through these, and I'll bring you guys back in if there's any more silver right here. So I pulled a couple miscellaneous finds to the side here. We have a stickered coin. This one looks like it's going to be Ed Sullivan, September 9th, 1956. And I'm sure this is an NIFC underneath the sticker. I'm not too sure on the year. I think I see an 8, so maybe 2018. Looks like it's got a D mint mark. So that's kind of neat, a little bit of a miscellaneous find right there. And then we've got an NIFC here. This one's going to be a 2002P. That's the first year of the NIFCs other than the 1987. 1987 was an NIFC year. But I also bring you guys in here because I do have another silver that I sorted out here. This one's going to be a 68D. We've got a lot of silver built up right now. The bottom of the bag looks like it's going to be full of good stuff here. So let's, uh, I'm just going to put the camera on a tripod here and just go through this live because there's a lot in sight here. So we've got this here. This is going to be, looks like a Mexican coin. Let me uh, move the light over here a little bit more. Estados Unidos Mexicanos. And this one's going to be actually a 1944. 20 centavos. I believe it's just going to be copper. I know they made silver Mexican coins around this time, but that's still a sweet foreign. I don't find many old foreigns, so really happy about that. That's the first foreign of the bag. And I'm seeing quite a bit of silver, so let's start looking through that. We've got a 67 right here, Philadelphia. Uh, out of frame a little bit. You guys can't see this, but we have a billiard token. JT's. Left uh play some billiards up there. I don't know where that's at, but it's a cool little token there. 68D 40 percenter. 69D right here. Let's 
check in this quarter to see if it was silver. It kind of had that look, but it's going to be clad. Got a silver right here, 1967. There's one in the bag a little bit. 67, a little bit uh, tarnished there. There's that dollar we were looking at earlier. Let's see if we got a star note or anything interesting here. Let's see if it's in one piece, actually. It looks like it will be, hopefully. Uh, nothing really interesting on the serial number, but that is a full dollar. It's completely spendable. I will be putting that one in my wallet. No star note, nothing too special. Well, that's cool. Got a silver here, 1966. That's got some cool toning on it. Got a little bit of a rainbow look on the obverse. Got one here, 68D. And let's see, I think I see one down here. Got a 1967 right there. That may be it right here, I'm not, that's pretty cool. I might pull that aside, that's a 71D. It's got some cool toning on it. Pretty amazing shape. I'll just put it aside for now, it's nothing special, but that's that's a pretty nice looking coin. Um, just dropped a half dollar down here. Um, but in the bag a little bit, I'll change the camera angle so you guys can see this. We've got a 1967. And potentially an NISC right here. Let's see what year. It's just a 95 in pretty uncirculated shape. Let's see what we got here. 69D. Got some more silver in here. 67. Scooch the camera back a little bit so you guys can see that. Got another 67 right here. Another 67. Um, that's all I see right now. We might as well just go through the rest of the bag. I think there is going to be a few more silvers in there. I was looking at. I'll just pull the rest of this out, empty the bag out on the table. There's a silver here. 1966. We got one right here. 67. Oh, that's a 90. We got a 1964. This one's minted in Denver. There we go. That's our second 90 of the hunt. We have found a Walking Liberty and now this. So that's pretty sweet. I'll take that. And I'm definitely seeing one more here. This one's going to be a 69D. Um, that's all I'm seeing at the moment. But I'm going to have to sort through this. There could be a couple that I missed. And I'll bring you guys back if I find anything else. If not, I will see on the wrap up. But... I did spot this as well. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll put that aside with the miscellaneous stuff. And like I said, I'll bring you guys back if there's anything else cool in here. So I did find another silver sorting through here. This one is going to be a 1968D. And I'm still not seeing anything else, so I will bring you back if there is any more buried under all these other halves. So I actually did find another NIFC near the bottom of the bag here. This one's going to be a 2003 Philadelphia. I believe that's going to be, I think, either number two or three of the NIFCs for the hunt. So I will pull that one aside for sure. So that's going to be it for this half dollar bag. This has been a really good one. I'm thinking we definitely have over 30 silvers. I haven't done an official count, but we do have a really nice pile here. Um, and I'm going to sort these out, stack them, and get a number for you guys. And I will see you back on the actual wrap up that's gonna do it for the bag and we had a great hunt for silver so the total is going to be 39 40 percent halves and 290 percent halves which gives us a total of 41 silver coins that's a phenomenal score i found i believe a little over 50 in the spring and that's the the best half dollar score i've had this year other than this one so this is my second best, second best half dollar score so far this year. I was super happy to get my first Walking Liberty, and it's an old one too, 1917. The mint mark would be right over here. I don't know if it's going to have one. It's too beat up. It's really not in good shape whatsoever, but 
Just the fact that I found a half dollar that's over 100 years old for my first walker is awesome. Really happy to have that. Hopefully there's more to come soon. And hopefully I can get on the board with the barber in the near future. And we've also got the 1964D. All the 40s are nothing too special. I know we found a 65 and all the way up to 69. So all those dates, um, various mint marks, P and D, nothing special, no proofs or anything. Um, and then with the miscellaneous finds, we are going to have the Ed Sullivan 1956 uh, stickered coin. I've got the 1944 20 centavos from Mexico. Uh, two NIFCs, and then we got the, uh, the Tiki Bar. I can actually show what it says because I thought it had the address, but it just says Island Bar and Oasis. Uh, good for one well drinker bottle. If I can hunt that place down, I'm getting myself a drink there for sure to celebrate this one. And then we've got a billiard token from JT's, whatever that is. A couple keys. This one looks to be pretty old. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Master Lock Company. Um, and then, of course, we have got the, whatever this thing is, and then the um, fines from that jar of uh, foreigns and rejects at that uh, credit union where I got the score at. Can't forget about the dollar as well. That was cool. So we had a great hunt. I definitely am going to keep my eye on these half dollar bags, try to pick them up as soon as they're ready to go. Um, and hopefully we can have some more cool scores like this in the future. Half dollar bags like this, there's nothing better. If you can find like over 30 silvers, like I'd hunt a bag like that all day over any other denomination. So super happy with this one. We did very well here. And I will see you guys on the next one. Like I said, I'm going to be watching these bags very carefully and picking them up when they're good to go. In the meantime, probably going to be doing some boxes and customer wraps. Maybe we'll do some quarter bags in the near future. I'm not too sure yet. Those are just a lot of work to do. But thank you guys for watching this one. I appreciate you all for sticking around. Um, if you're new to the channel... Uh, feel free to smash that subscribe button. Maybe hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload. Um, also, anybody, if you appreciated the video here, please give me a thumbs up. Any like um, or comment, for that matter, will help me to get more views on the video. So, again, I appreciate everyone, and have a good one.